Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new, welcome. I'm happy you found us and I'm Lisa. Like I said, welcome to my channel. Today is all about the humble but very versatile bag. It comes in all shapes and sizes and you can use it for more than you think. So come with me and let's get started. But before we do, I had to share my shirt in that adorable Save the Chubby Unicorn. I just had to share. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, so today we are talking the humble bag. And I say humble bag, but really there's nothing humble about something that comes in various sizes, various textures, various sh colors, and can be used in such a wide array of, and can be used so versatilely versatile. So let's get started. First and foremost, we're going to start with the biggest bags we always use. And these are pages in our journals. These can also just make up their own whole journal. We've all seen them. We all love them. And I'm making one this weekend. So watch for this next week. Okay, so we know this. We also have seen them in, you know, this form glassine bags of various shapes and sizes and paper bags in various shapes and sizes or sacks as you call them in various parts of the country. Did you know out of all of this, besides making pages, whole books, and pockets, you can also make a few other things and I thought I would share. I took a bag like this, only in blue. I just used a normal tag to get the pattern and I cut it. Okay, so now I have a bag that is a tag. Say that four times fast. A bag that is a tag. And then all I'm going to do is find my hole punch, poke a hole in the top. Okay, I'm going to tie it there and you may be saying, well then you can't use it as a bag. But here's the kicker. When I cut it, I never sealed the side. So it's got like, when I tie it here, it's gonna have like a big pocket on the side. And then to make it just like a normal tag, like we would, you can decorate it up. So I could put this doily on it, then I could put some of my bling bling ribbon on there, and there you go. You have a tag bag. Very, very cool. Another way you can use them is if you have long ones or ones like this, if you have ones like this, first of all, you want to cut down the side. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just cut the length of the side. And I'm just cutting just enough to open the bag, not a lot off. Okay. And then I'm also going to cut just a little bit off the bottom end as well. Okay, then you just, okay, once you get the top cut and the bottom cut, then you simply fold your sides in. So you fold the bottom in towards the middle and you throw, fold the top in towards the middle and you have a wallet. You have an open pocket here. You will put paper here, 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 and on the back you have a pocket at the end where you cut it open and then at the top across you have open like a wallet. You will only add just a little tape to hold it all together but you have a wallet. How cool is that? A bag of wallet. Another thing you can do is make a fancy journaling card. You can take a guest check, fold it so you have a little pocket in the front and you'll either glue or tape the edges. Then you get a bag, whether you have one to fit or not. That's, you know, whatever you have in your stash. <clears throat> then I'm going to cut my bag and I'll seal the one side. I'm going to cut my bag and then I will attach my guest check and I will seal up this side. And I have a pocket, two pockets. I have one in the bag and one between the bag and the guest check. And I have a journaling bag on the back. That's another way to decorate. Up to you. 
You could also use long bags like this. Cut them into strips. Like this. Put them in a journal like a tuck spot on this side. And then you'll have two layers to tuck. You could also put it across the top as a tuck spot or across the middle as a belly band. You could take decorative bags and definitely cut them into smaller bags. Cut them into smaller bags and use them as upside down so you have a tuck spot underneath here and in the bag itself would be a tuck spot too so you just made a double tuck spot so don't be afraid to take a regular bag and cut it up into whatever vision you see it as guys bags are so versatile you i mean they can be used for days and days in fact coming up next week we're going to have a lunch bag journal but it's going to be all bags. Everything in it will be bags. The tuck spots, the pockets, the tags, the belly bands, the journaling cards. Everything will be made of a bag. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for being here today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you tomorrow. Take care and have a great day. Bye.